So if you build for mobile, then you have to give them that opportunity so that they engage with you quickly, they can call you right away, email you, whatever, whatever they want to do, make it easy for them. So I like in introducing video on the front page of, uh, of a mobile as the first thing because it's likely to get clicked. And once they get into it and find out more about your product, they can just go down and, and call you. There's also more videos on a page. On another page, says there's videos. You'll see the tab later. And as you can see, the text is larger, and that's further down the page as well. So uh, this is the rest of the um, navigation screen. So as you can see, the rest of the videos are on YouTube uh, tab here. So there's more videos there. Um, there is the contact us with, with the form. Uh, there's a special report. Um, special reports are great. No matter what business you're in, you should always include some kind of information that's specific to your business. Not just be general. Uh, try to be helpful. Remember, people are coming to your site because they're looking for an answer to their problems. So give them as much information as you can. Uh, in by way of a video, by way of a document, and whichever way you may want to do it. Now, we have call to action on his website as we've seen on this page. Call us, find us, email us. And uh, the other call to action that I would like to introduce and I, and I use on other website is uh, a little squeeze page. Um, in this case, I would need um, I would need his um, email survey or like Aweber or Get Response or any of those, and set up a set up a little form. And you can just say, um, you know, a special report on Alter G on well in this case it's on obesity, obesity, but it could be something else. So people love special reports and they will give you their email just to get it delivered. So that's just another way to uh, um, collect information and stay in touch with your potential customer. As you can see, text is much better and bigger than on, on James' site. So basically, the, this, is, this is the difference. So um, make it easier to read, make it easier to navigate, and give them valuable content. Now, the other problem is the site address. What is Roadwide? Roadwide.ca has actually, it just doesn't relate to any of the products that he sells. So what we need to do, what we need to do is find out what is it our customers 